rise for the singing of our national anthem by Colton Jones. Out in the country past the city limits sign Oh, there's a honk and tong near the county line The joint starts jumping every night when the sun goes down They got whiskey, women, music and smoke It's where all the cowboy folk go to boot scoot and boogie I got a good job, I work hard for my money Good time, I hit the door running, I fire up my pickup truck and let the horses run. I go flying down that highway to that hideaway, stuck out in the woods to do the boot scootin' boogie. Yeah, heel toe, do -si do come on baby, let's go boot scoot. Cadillac, blackjack, baby, beat me out back. We're gonna boogie. <laughs> I said, get down, turn around, go to town, the boot scootin' boogie. Say, son, what'll it be? I want a shot of that red head yonder looking at me. The dance floor's hopping and it's hotter than the 4th of July. Oh, I see it laws in laws, crooks and straights, all out and making it shake to win the boot scootin' boogie. Yeah, heel toe, do -si do come on, baby, let's go boot scoot. Yeah, Cadillac, Blackjack, baby, beat me out back. We're going to book it. I said, get down, turn around, go to town, the boot scootin' boogie. Heel, toe, do -si do come on, baby, let's go, boot scoot. Yeah, Cadillac, Blackjack, baby, beat me out back. We're going to book it. I said, get down, turn around, go to town, the boot scootin' boogie. I said, get down, turn around, go to town, the boot scootin' boogie. I said, get down, turn around, go to town, the boot scootin' boogie. Colton Jones, give it up for him one more time, everybody. That was incredible. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. It's so funny to have all the technical difficulties and then Colton's like, I was gonna go up and do it with no music anyway. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> he handed me one of his headphones. It's just Christian Bale doing the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> <laughs> A true artist. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what's going through that guy's head, but he's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, well, thank you for coming here. Welcome to Good Evening News. I, I'm Jack Timmons. And I'm Mikey Biggs. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Woo! All right, who's been here before? Yes. Yeah. Who hasn't been here before? Yeah. Yes. All right, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the uninitiated. I see. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this is good evening news. We do this every Tuesday at 10 p.m. P.m. 10, 15 p.m. 10, 25. <laughs> do it around this time. Uh, yeah, we do it every Tuesday. We're happy to have you here, guys. We, I got to say, I'm really excited about this, this lineup we have of 
I think tonight's going to be a magical night. It's going to be one to remember and it's then to get drunk and forget. Mm -hmm. Tonight's going to either drive you to drink in celebration or remorse, but either way, we've got drink specials yeah. all night, guys, and they're full price. <laughs> they're full price. <laughs> Every drink in the building, full price. For you, you. Buy two drinks, you. 25%. <laughs> <laughs> you better. You fuck. You fucking better. You better. You better. No, seriously, you fucking... <laughs> Anyways, guys, we got a fucking bunch of sick-ass psycho correspondents here at Good Evening News this week. <laughs> bunch of crazy SOBs and... Sons of bitches. I mean, yeah. A bunch, those... <laughs> a bunch of real rebel rousers. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever said that. I don't know if I said it right. That was... <laughs> no, no, it was good. Does anybody know... Was that good? Is that how you say that? Yeah. Is that how you say that shit? Fuck yeah. Well, yeah. all right. Anti-hero. Yeah. Was that Josh? <laughs> oh, of course. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, before we get started, you know, we start every good evening news with what? The headlines, everybody. <laughs> Who's excited for the headlines? Let's hear it. <laughs> Fucking hell yeah. <laughs> all right, that kind of got, got a little tasty over there. <laughs> Darkest part of the room, too. Kind whoa. Of <laughs> hey, whoa, bro. Whoa. 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 Wait, who's over Wait, there? who is over there? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's Coach. Uh, no, my bad. Oh, that is worst case scenario. Uh, it's, it's all right. He's getting Oh, it. my okay. God. <laughs> Breaking news, everybody. Kojak is black. And <laughs> And everyone's happy about it. Everybody's happy. That's my favorite part of it. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I love those guys. Guys, oh, wow. what do we do first every week? The headlines. Let's get into Back them before track. we say anything else racist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, police, uh, police raided a multi-million dollar Willy Wonka-like magic mushroom factory operating inside a suburban Connecticut home yesterday. Yes, 8.5 million worth of mushrooms being grown by 20 singing midgets. <laughs> the worst part is the officer who discovered the factory now has to run it. Uh, a feel-good story in Virginia after police responded to a call from a child who was asking for a hug. Uh, the child received the much-desired hug and also a lesson on how to use the emergency line properly. He was then detained for excessive horniness with intent to Mac. <laughs> Fuck, that was mine. <laughs> I loved it. I thought it was good. <sighs> Thank Don't let you. Him bring it down. Dude. The fuck. It shows over, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Stay. <there>. Uh, <laughs> Columbia released that it is moving forward with plans to recover billions worth of sunken treasure at the Holy Grail of shipwrecks off the coast. It's estimated that the specific location, there could be up to $20 billion worth of sand and fish. A <laughs> 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 uh, Palestinian grandmother and her three grandchildren were killed by a rogue Israeli missile this morning. And lighter news, the McRib is coming back. Which is cool. Uh, that's good. That's, that's good. It's a good news missile. That's a good news missile. <laughs> <laughs> Doctors at Chicago's Northwestern Medicine performed a groundbreaking procedure this morning where they used two double D breast implants to save the life of a man who vaped for years and then caught the flu. After 15 hours on the operating table, Davy Bauer was brought back to life by a motorboat of epic proportions. <laughs> CPR, what's that stand for? Cool, perky, ripe ones. <laughs> can, can, I, can, I please rest, can I please rest my head on them? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but no, vaping is cool as fuck again now. That's cool. If that's what the end of vaping is... I'm back on the train. <laughs> Guys, if you're vaping the night, hold them up. Hold them up. If you're vaping the night, hold them up. Hold them up. <laughs> Lord, I've seen what you've done for others, and I want that for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after nearly an hour-long attack, orcas sank yet another boat off the shores of Spain this weekend. What? You gotta do, you gotta do that, that one first. Oh, fuck my yeah, bad. Yeah, wrote them in. Oh, God damn. Yeah, well, that's the other one. Yeah, 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 I'll follow it up. Okay. Don't worry. I don't want to do that one. Do you want me to start it? All right, now I'll, I'll do it. All right. I'll start it. 
Captain Crunch is under fire after TMZ released body cam footage from his recent WDWI George. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, Crunch Colonel himself was filmed refusing a sobriety test and saying, I'll kill every fucking spick in this town. <laughs> I cannot believe he said that. That is insane. He said that. Hey, my God. <laughs> I read what's on here, not very well. Oh my god. I clearly don't write it. <laughs> no, I mean, the, the, the writing staff on the show is... <laughs> after, after nearly an hour-long attack, orcas sank yet another boat off the shores of Spain this weekend. The orcas swear that they will strike again and were quoted saying, We won't rest until we kill every fucking spit in this town. <laughs> god, god fucking damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Well, guys, in local news, my parents finally got back together. So, <laughs> yeah. Sorry if I've been acting weird the past 18 years, uh, but everything's officially back on track. So, that's just what's going on with me. <laughs> oh, my God. My God. My God. Oh, after missing for six days, a nonverbal man with Down syndrome was found safe and unharmed in the back room of a Maryland train station. When asked why they didn't check the train station first, detective said, "We really didn't think it would be there. <laughs> we really didn't think it would be there based on how funny that would be." <laughs> I mean, it would be too easy. <laughs> uh, well, it turns out the happiest place on earth stinks. Lines at popular amusement parks Disney World and Disneyland have apparently gotten so long that people are letting their children poop on the ground while they wait. One Disney executive commented, Walt would be turning over in his grave. This is not what he meant when he said Jewish people don't deserve rights. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that. That's Walt a real quote. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. For those of you who don't know who Walt Disney is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, kind of like his Batman. <laughs> yeah. Four, uh, four men in England have been charged with theft of an 18 karat gold toilet from, what was it, Blenheim Palace? The birthplace of Winston Churchill. Investigators knew it was men who had stolen the toilet because when they found it, the seat was up. And you'll never guess what was in the toilet, guys. Some shit. <laughs> this is fucking human shit. It's... Luckily, God damn it. Luckily, they did... Luckily, they did not go into the next room, which contained a diamond urinal and a golden shower. The world's oldest dog ever died this week in Portugal. <laughs> Bobby was 31 years old, divorced twice, and surprisingly enough, a pack-a-day smoker. She said the trick to a long life is ending every night with a glass of wine and a king-size Hershey's bar. <laughs> 31, that's pretty good. That's good. <laughs> 30... It's getting hot up here. 31 is typically the age you... <laughs> That's great. 31 is typically the age you have to be to turn into a dog. Oh! It, well, we're not winning them back now. All right. <laughs> I liked it. Rice, you guys, get this. <laughs> Rice University has suspended all campus parties after an annual underwear-themed event. The Night of Decadence sent seven students to the hospital with alcohol poisoning. Each of the students defended themselves, saying, we were just trying not to get hard. Fuck. The Howard guys. County woman. <laughs> Howard County woman was arrested after a DUI traffic stop that uncovered 200 oxycodone pills. What an oxymoron. <laughs> oh, come on. And that's the headlines, everybody. <laughs> that's the headlines. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I can't believe Captain Crunch said that shit. That was that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> And you can look that up after the show. Yeah, <laughs> not during. Don't look it up right now. Wait till you leave. We've got a fact checker in the back. He texts me. It's all true. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, can we put that up? All right, guys. Let's get into the damn news. Uh, <laughs> we got some crazy, some crazy ass news for you guys. And to help us out, I'm glad he's back. I know he's coming back from a long vacation. In uh, Istanbul. 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 He's in Istanbul. He's been in Istanbul. Uh, <laughs> he's been vacationing in Istanbul. And 
and uh, he came back a different guy. I mean, he's, he's glowing, literally. He really is. More so than he normally does. It's a whole new him. From all the jaundice, but he's, uh, he's glowing with joy and radiating yeah. sinister energy. With absolute sexual <laughs> sinister energy. <laughs> Guys, it's it's our it's our weird ass cousin, everybody. It's it, Necromancer Nick. Necromancer Nick. Yeah, Necromancer gentlemen. Yeah. Oh my God, it's him. Oh my God. Hello, Nick. Hello. Hi, Necromancer Nick. Hi. Happy to be here. Hey, man. Happy to have you. How was this in bowl? Ethan. Uh, it was good at first, and then I uh, I had an accident. You know. Oh. Oh, that's terrible. What happened? Uh, I was on a hike. Yeah. Uh, through the beautiful Turkish countryside. Yeah. Anybody uh, with uh, you? Uh, no, it was just me. Okay. Doing kind of a eat, pray, love thing. <laughs> I know that's right. And I was, uh, I was attacked by a uh, wild uh, pack of hot singles in my area. <laughs> <laughs> you, you made oh, it out of there. Oh my God, you didn't... You look like you're holding up pretty okay. To you. What, it looked like you freaking handled them. Yeah, you know, it was, it was a rough go of it at first, but afterwards I thought, you know what, I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to try something a little different. And uh, so, you know, I fucked my way out of it, you know, but here I am. <laughs> so great. It's so eat, pray, love. Yeah, it's really eat, pray, love. There's a lot more eat than pray and love, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I loved it. Pray you never have to eat again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it was it was a, overall it was a pretty good time, and I'm and I'm, and I'm but I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be with all these lovely people. Yeah, yeah guys, Necromancer Nick, everybody, yeah. make him feel welcome, guys. He's I mean, he's absolutely drained. He's low on energy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, Nick. Oh yeah, Nick's gonna help us with the music, by the way. Nick, you want to hit a tasty lick for the the folks? Hit a hot riff. Abs absolutely, I do. <laughs> hit a hot ass riff. <laughs> oh. It was tasty as hell. Still god got damn. it. Oh my god. God damn. Hey. Sore fingers and everything. I All right. <laughs> <laughs> Making that thing talk. <laughs> Make that thing talk. All right. Well, we're going to bring up your first correspondence, everybody. We, uh, honestly, I, I don't really know what they're here to talk about, but uh, we're going we're gonna to bring them up and see what that is. It's a, a, give it up for brotherly love with Xander and Bob, everyone. Give it up for Xander and Bob. Hey yo! Hello. What's going on, everybody? This is Brotherly Love. I'm Xander. And that's I'm Bob. Bob. Yes, this is Xander, and I'm Bob. Thank yep. you, Xander. He's yeah. Bob. Hey, give it up Thank for him. You. Thank you so much. Uh, Xander here and I uh, we're brothers. Um, yeah. <laughs> we're. <laughs> To be more specific, we're brother husbands. Anybody familiar with the concept? Anybody? So we are uh, two men who share the same wife, and there's nothing weird about that. And two brothers, one whole baby. It's not. It's not demented. <laughs> I told you, you can't. You gotta stop saying it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we we uh, we've enjoyed a very uh, loving, passionate, um, you know, group sort of deal for yeah, the last yeah. seven and a half a years. A collective. Now. Kind of thing. <laughs> and um, unfortunately, our poor sweet wife, I mean. She, uh, she got the flu and. And then she was hit by a train and she blew up. So um, <laughs> we are. <laughs> so now we're, we're in a big oh, wife shaped fuck. hole in our lives. Oh, uh, no. Not a flu train. Uh, fuck. And you know how we feel about holes. So we're looking to fill it. Um, <laughs> Looking to fill that. We're hole. looking to fill one of you, maybe. One of you. We're hoping you'll fill our hole, our wife-shaped hole. Um, so we we're, can fill your wifely holes. Are, is there any single ladies here tonight? Single ladies, make some noise. Thank you. One lucky lady here will be going home with us. So <laughs> it's it's so line up. So get ready. Um, it's all very exciting. Uh, now, uh, let's get into it. You know, uh, oh, a great man once said, "Women are like a bowl of soup." You can share as long as you bring your own spoon. <laughs> We've all heard it. Words to live by. L. Ron Hubbard. That's <laughs> great, great quote, great man. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's so, so true. Um, you know, I, my favorite thing about the last several years of my life, um, 
have truly been the the bonds that the my bond, brother yep. and I have shared with our wife. Yep. And now that that bowl has been knocked over, we need more soup. We need a new soup. <laughs> um, <laughs> And ladies, one of you lucky soups will be going home with us oh tonight. Oh my fucking yeah. god. And we'll do a French <laughs> onion, Italian, whatever you got. He's gonna get soupy. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, stew up it. Now, yeah. now that we've told you a little bit about who we are and why we're here, there's probably a few things that you're, you're asking. Um, for starters, uh, what are you looking for in a woman? Uh, Xander? And what are we looking for? Good vibes, you know? We just want a woman who enjoys good the, energy, yeah, good yeah, thetans, whatever the, you want to call the, it. The swish uh, of uh, cargo pants walking through the hall, you know, something like that. Yeah, yeah. we we need a lady who's not going to go near trains. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a big one. That's a really, it's a really, really big one. one. Does that answer that question for you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, or, I'm sorry. Are, are you on your phone while I'm? No. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> No, no, please go. Keep going. I okay. like the bullet point and the number one. It's very much. <laughs> <laughs> and the period after. <laughs> we really want to hammer these points home. <laughs> very important questions that you're all probably thinking. I can see it in your All right, next up. Is Hold jealousy up. a problem you deal with? Is it? A, no. No, no. No, no. Here's the thing. If you got to have an open hole, you can't have a closed heart. You know what I mean? You gotta keep it That's true, open, but you stop saying that not about, closed. Um, all right. Yeah, you know it's important to set boundaries, have rules, have limits. You know, um, like we've established with our last sweet, poor, deceased, bit, bit little bit wife, little train bits, um, Yeah. We had a sleep schedule that we established that worked really well. Um, so she, you would sleep with her some nights of the week. And yep. That I would sleep with her most nights of the week. And. Um, I would take left then, hand, he would take right. Yeah, so we, yeah, you know, we, we would split, we, you know, when, when you're... We, we had bunk beds, it was the same room, but like different nights she would climb up, climb down. It was know? honestly pretty complicated, uh, <laughs> now that I think back on it. Uh, so maybe we can kind of, you know, work some of these kinks out going into one of you ladies. And <laughs> I'd love to work out our kinks on you ladies. Uh, Any cut DM. curious ladies, maybe. Uh, Pop your head. <laughs> now last, there's probably one final question I think you guys are all asking. The brother, husbands, me, and him. Uh, you're probably asking, is this some kind of religious thing? Right? Is this, is this some kind of religious thing? Is it? Is it? Uh, yes, it is. It is. Uh, so we are going to be, uh, <laughs> we're actually, we're really excited to t spend the next 75 minutes uh, talking to you no, guys. About, so, no, <laughs> no, no, generous hour. 120. You guys can we cut get, it in half. Can we get an hour and a half at least? That's, that's more than 75 minutes. What about two hours? <laughs> it's it's reasonable. So it sounds okay. like we're going better. So we don't have time. Well, give you us the gist of it. Give us the rundown. No, 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 no. If we don't have time, fuck it. We didn't, what we, no, it's fine. It's just, what is, what did we, what did we do this for? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies, hit us up. Hit us up, ladies. I'll be your number one. Wow. Wow. Uh, Xander and Bob, everybody. Xander and Bob, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm excited to see which lucky lady he yeah. goes and they'll home be... with those, those two guys. Make, I mean, making me wish... Yep, they'll be standing outside the women's restroom taking down names and emails. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, fuck. Alright, well, on to the next one. Alright, guys. Uh, this is, uh, our next segment is, I'm pretty excited for it. Yeah, same. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and bring her up. It's uh, Story Time with Cat. Make some noise. <laughs> story Time with Cat. Cat. Hey. Oh, we're dimming the lights. It's, it's scary story time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween is coming up. And that's what we're all very excited for. Um, well, all right, ow. Uh, okay, let's get into it. What, so what is... So, okay, backstory on the story. Uh, it's actually a story that my grandfather uh, left to me in his will. Um, and it's kind of a cautionary tale. Um, it's interesting. So, 
Yeah. Yeah. What do you, that's it. What do you think people should take out of this before we? I think I think it'll be pretty obvious. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> it started out a day like any other. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. The, oh, scary things always start like that, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Olivia wakes up and takes a long, slow hit of her vape. <laughs> Strawberry banana. Oh, that's good. Sounds good. Revolting. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Why would she buy this, she thinks. No eyes. Should have stuck with her tried and true blue Raz eyes. Yeah, that's true. That God, she's it. such a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> As she gets out of bed, her legs ache from the tantric sex she had last night with her weed dealer. <laughs> he, he is as tall as a tree with a with a penis as <laughs> with a penis as small as a twig. No. <laughs> oh, this is a scary story. <laughs> it's scary. But size Size isn't everything, is it? She thinks as she looks down at her big naturals. <laughs> she sips coffee as she scrolls through TikTok, or as she calls it, reading her book. <laughs> Sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> she completes her morning routine by taking one of her infamous messy shits. <laughs> Wow, am I going to use the whole roll today? She thinks aloud as she's straight. Jesus fucking she gets, she gets dressed for karate class and rushes out the door. <laughs> Little does she know, she's not alone. There's a small piece of poop still in her butt. <laughs> It's my grandfather. I mean, he just... <laughs> I don't know. He had a lot to say. Um, after her exhausting karate class, Olivia can't wait to get home. Endorphins kick in as she approaches her car to speed home to eat some leftover egg salad. When she gets home, she is unnerved to see the front door is wide open. No. <gasps> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> she grabs she grabs her modified AK-47 from under her seat <laughs> and quietly makes her way inside. She bought it at a gun show in Florida. Without the loopholes, they would have never sold it to her. <laughs> she has a long criminal record, including multiple armed robberies and a RICO charge. But she's come a long way since Louisiana Women's Correctional Center. She's learned to moderate her meth usage. Only, <laughs> only before karate or if she ever goes back to prison. It's quiet as she walks through the door. I'm almost done. It's quiet as she, <laughs> It's quiet as she walks through the door. Too quiet. <laughs> She closes it carefully, and a familiar voice sends a shiver down her spine. Olivia, nice to see you again. Fuck. It's the... <laughs> it's the devil. <laughs> no, fuck. They meet again. Olivia, see, Olivia and Satan met in college. He wrote... <laughs> He roped her in with his Steven Seagal disguise, and the rest is history. She realizes the AK will do no good. The only thing that can kill the devil is love. <laughs> oh no. She, <laughs> she, drops, she drops the AK, and her panties follow. <laughs> Pretty sick part of the story. She, <laughs> she reaches up to kiss him and wipes a piece of egg salad off his lips. 
No. Damn. You found her stash. Fucker. He is a monster. <laughs> this won't deter her. She missed him, and if she wants to save the world, she must persevere. Satan's a very gentle lover. He takes... <laughs> He takes her big naturals in his hands as, <laughs> as she caresses his perfect this guy Satan? This guy Satan? tiny little dick. It's, Whoa! It's really tiny. He's, he's hung like a rat. <laughs> just, <laughs> just how she likes it. <laughs> They make furious love, and afterwards, he disappears. Presumably back to hell. <laughs> now for that egg salad. So yeah, that was my grandfather's story. <laughs> he loved it. And his wow. little thank you. <laughs> Give it up for Kat, everybody. Wow. <laughs> Give it up for Kat. Give it up for her grandpa. Oh. Give it up for Satan. <laughs> so, <laughs> so spooky. Oh my god, it's so spooky. Dude, R.I.P. to a good one, dude. Oh, Holy hell. Our grandpa sounds pretty cool. Oh my god. Guys, this next one, this next one's gonna hit pretty true to home. <laughs> this, next one, this next one I think we're all gonna be able to relate to. It's gonna hit close to honest. <laughs> this, and it's some breaking stuff that we're all gonna need to know. Guys, I hate to have to tell you who's coming up next. It's Justice Mudwrench with the three motorcycle gangs you don't want to bring home to mom. Give it up for Justice Mudwrench, everybody. type of guy who likes to ride his bike and eat it too. <laughs> <laughs> Belly full of metal. Gentlemen, if I may, I'd like to begin with the motorcycles, the motorcycles oath. <laughs> rev me up, rev me down, rev me all around town. Fill me with your cream, make me kick and scream. <laughs> Lick me down, pound me up. <laughs> so my butthole shut. Mother motorcycle, take me to the heaven's lake. That's it. <laughs> yeah, those are some of the queens I used to ride with. <laughs> <laughs> Never met a braver group of cows in your life, no doubt. Yeah, a little bit about my background. From the age of 11 to six months later, I rode motorcycle. <laughs> Riding with some of the scariest groups in, in wheels. Oh, fuck. Type of names that would make a mom cover kids' ears and mouth and blow herself up with fireworks to death. <laughs> oh. <laughs> At least that's what my old lady did. Yeah. <laughs> she, she ate a book bag full of M80s and put sparklers in her ears. <laughs> Shit, man. If she wasn't my old lady, I would have saluted the damn thing. <laughs> oh. Shit, man. Anyways, yeah, I used to ride with some of the scariest people in biking. The Drexel Twins. The Andy Richter Liberation Front. <laughs> Lust and Lies, a heartbreak story. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Alienation by Dominatrix. And of course, Spazoids and Co. <laughs> but eventually I got popped for beating up a statue of Kristen Stewart at the Mall of America. Uh, yeah, I did a dime in Sing Sing and I turned it all around. So I could come to you tonight and teach you about the top three most motorcycles gangs, the most motorcycle gangs of all. You're not gonna wanna bring home to mom. Number one, 
the Montreal Three. <laughs> <laughs> the scariest part. About, the scariest part about the Montreal Three is that they're not even friends. Uh, <laughs> ever heard of Toys for Tots? Yeah. How about Guns for Kuwait? <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck. They supplied guns to both sides of the Kuwaiti army. Oh, and the, middle, the one in the middle is busty as all get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little bit of background on the perps. <laughs> Born in New England's Hall of Screams, th these three rotten lads have much more brain than brawn. They're just as more comfortable with a gun in their ass as they are with a knife in their ass. <laughs> Originally convicted of crimes against the Commonwealth, they struck a deal with the DA and were released to kiss another day. Uh, notable crimes, suicide by hobgoblin, filing wet taxes, uh, giving it up but not dishing it out, selling muscle, rela uh, selling muscle relaxers to the birthday boy. Uh, yeah. Uh, last known whereabouts, uh, Alamo Draft House throwing frozen water bottle during Barbenheimer. So, very scary to think <laughs> oh, about. Oh, no, these guys are trouble. Yeah, these guys deserve the death penalty, for sure. <laughs> Number two, the East Town Sorry Boys. Oh, fuck. I quite simply can't even look at this perp. <laughs> this perp basically makes my fucking skin crawl. Yeah, a simple punch. Oh! <laughs> It's right behind me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, a simple punch to the face isn't enough punishment for this bastard. <laughs> born, in, born and raised in Toronto, this naturalized terror equine quickly rose through the ranks of the Andy Richter Liberation Front. <laughs> <laughs> they did a dime for 10 years in Leavenworth for attempting to snuff out the chick with big boobs and Big Bang Theory. Oh, um, and hey, chick, I got a theory for you. Don't wear a bra next time. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, list of crimes. <laughs> Attempting to buy the Vatican on storage wars. Uh, <laughs> making up shit during lift rides. Uh, sui <laughs> suicide by punch. Shooting the shit. Uh, <laughs> Stealing teeth from the malnourished. Yeah, God, I'd love, I'd love to have a, I'd love to have a minute locked in, the, in a locked room with that fucker. <laughs> Number three, Miss Angie's Troublemakers. Saved from a barn fire at the tender age of 25. <laughs> Miss Angie's Troublemakers have been lifting her up over her head ever since. She's the abuela in the corner. They were the first white men to ever beat the professor one-on-one -on -one in basketball. Uh, <laughs> from and one. Uh, <laughs> they actually don't have motorcycles because they don't believe in true love. I don't know what the correlation is, but they don't. <laughs> um, every time the younger one cries, the oldest one dies. I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> Some sort of cycling, like they cycle through and the oldest one cries, the youngest one dies. Um, yeah, last known, last known whereabouts, they were making a huge sandcastle in Destin, Florida. Um, like way too big, it fucked with the turtle habitats. Yeah. <laughs> Turtles couldn't swim out to sea. Anyways, wouldn't mind seeing these guys six feet under either. All right. Happy riding. <laughs> oh, shit. Fun, right? <laughs> oh. Just his mud wrench, everybody. Give it up for just his mud wrench. Oh, fuck yeah. Man, those guys were scary. Those guys were scary as fuck. Especially the one with the tits. Yeah. <laughs> That was... second guy, I mean, on a motorcycle? <laughs> That's oh, gotta be wow. terrifying. <laughs> Woo! All right, oh. at this point in the night, uh, you guys are probably wondering what, what the fuck is going on. <laughs> yeah! 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 
And we send one brave man out into the streets who has received some injuries recently <laughs> getting information for this show. So he's one of the bravest men I know. Yeah. Uh, we will be posting his Venmo for hospital bills. Yeah, so, yeah he, even, he even titled the email, What the Fuck Comedy Skit Thing, FML, Jack, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a brave guy. He's the one who gets hurt. He's still letting us know. It's typically never okay when you say everything is going to be okay. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is Philip Garcia. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Phoenix to find another six. Oh! We're in New York City. Honestly, I'm trying to like they close Washington Square down, so I can't shake my ass near the fountain. So um, I gotta like be walking around, kind of looking hot. I'm just around, so it's great. But I guess people are just vibing. What would be like a suitable body of water for you to replace for you to go shake your ass by? Honestly, nowhere else in New York. New York is fucking disgusting. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know. But like, you know, as long as the vibes are there, it doesn't have to be water. Just, you know, people having fun. It's what the fuck is going on right now? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't like that. Oh, all right. <laughs> yes, no, what's going on around here? I don't know New Yorkers being New Yorkers. That's just what it is, you know? What does it mean to be a New Yorker? What does it mean? To be bad shit out of your, out, I'm sorry. To be out of your mind, you know? Just senile, solidity, you know, have midlife crises at 16 years old. You're saying the average lifespan of a New Yorker is like 35? Allegedly, it's like 88 years or something, but, <laughs> you know, years? that's what they say. That's what the New York State average is. But, yeah. you know, the way people are getting hit by bikes and, and cars and stuff around here, you know, who knows yeah. what's going on anymore, you know? So everybody's what they call outside, you know? You know, ever heard of you? We outside! You know, everybody's outside right now, so. Everybody's outside right now. Everybody's outside. Well, what the fuck is going on right now? We fucking <laughs> outside is what the fuck is going on. <laughs> what are you dressed up as right now? I'm the fucking uh the clown balloon. The Microsoft balloon sculpture. I know for a fact. I saw it one day, I was sitting there surfing the internet. When I looked there, the glistening, glistening of the mantle, the light, it was the Microsoft sculpture. I tell you, man, the craziness. Hey, man, you look like that guy, Mike Myers. Austin Powers. And the crazy yeah, lift. Oh, yeah, have a good night, night sir. Have a happy holiday. You too. Happy holiday. How's it go? Well, thanks, dog. I appreciate you. Of course, man. Hell you yeah. shot yourself, brother. You too. You stay inflated. You stay motherfucking pimping. You too for a music video we're filming. Can I use you for an interview real quick? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I'm, well, I'm just asking people what the fuck is going on right now. Well, we're filming a music video <laughs> for Bunny Party. That's what's going on. Oh, yeah. His new song just released. What's, what's the name of the song? It's Bunny Party. Party. Right now it's by Zombie, but it's gonna. I'm changing my name to Tom. Yeah. Where'd you come from? <laughs> uh, Pittsburgh. How much different is uh, Halloween in New York from where you're from? It's uh, a lot busier, people a lot crazier, but yeah. it's way better. Yeah. yeah. How is it better so far for yourself? The girls. Women. He's also becoming famous here. Yeah? Yeah, releasing Bunny Party. I'm his manager. I was just about to ask you, are you his manager? Yes, I am. Because you sound like you have another manager. Yeah. This is also Jesus Christ. Yeah. How are y'all splitting up that 10%? If he gets his soul, no. I get the money. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Me personally, I have 27 wives. Hey, wait, man, Ash, what's the YouTube? What's up? Are you, is this for YouTube? Take, like, what, what's your like? What's your thing? This is for the whole goddamn internet. What the fuck is going on right now? Uh, what the fuck is going on right now? We <laughs> we in New York. It's Halloween parade night. I'm dressed as Pope. You 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 are Austin Powers. Where's your little midget at? I don't have. I couldn't afford that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah. What the fuck is going on right now? Y'all know? Shit, if I knew. If I knew, I know. Yeah. What do you think I need to look out for here in New York City? All the hooshies! <laughs> How's it going, dog? How you doing? Dude, I'm doing pretty fucking good right now. We're just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. And no one will know. No one? You won't know. Do you have any slightest idea? Even when you think you know, <laughs> you can end up going back. <laughs> Am I right? You're not wrong. I can't disagree with you. 
Oh shit. <laughs> oh he hit that. Oh fuck. Oh, shit. I think this guy knows. It's actually Bronson. He's <laughs> the only guy that's ever known. Philip Garcia, everybody. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> hey, god damn. We're crowdsourcing for Philip's car, by the way. <laughs> got in a brutal accident. Uh, give it up for Philip one more time, Phillip. guys. Give it up for Philip Garcia, dude. Philip Garcia. I think he's here somewhere. Wish he hadn't spent all that money in New York. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I, I'm sorry. And you can make him not regret that by dropping some money. <laughs> <laughs> Everything counts. Everything comes around. And even then when you think you know. Oh, my God. It, oh, you want to... Guys, wanna so... That's what the fuck is going on. And now we're going to bring up our next correspondent. He's going to do a little vibe check on the night. Yeah, it's the guy tonight. Who, yeah, this, this is the guy who crunches our numbers for the show. He really. lets us know what's up with the what, what's up. Yeah, what, what's up with the what's up and what's uh, happening in, in, uh, around. Yep. Grant, Grant Wheeler, everybody. <laughs> Grant Wheeler, give it up for Grant. Do a little vibe check. What's up? What's up? <laughs> so I said straight up, what's up? <laughs> How are we doing? Doing a vibe check. Uh, thank you for the beautiful introduction. Uh, I thought that was awesome. Uh, super cool, super welcoming. Thank you very much. Good vibe yeah, on that? Yeah, the vibes have been pretty vibracious. Uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the vibes kind of sound like Jack's mom's action figures. Uh, vibrating. <laughs> no. <laughs> pretty sick. Uh, <laughs> bad vibes, bad vibes. No, Man, I told you that's not an action figure. Stop playing with yeah, it. Yeah, whatever. No, it is. It's, all, it's shaped like a bumblebee. It's definitely one. Uh, you have definitely. to stop playing with the cat with that. Bro, but it's so cool. <laughs> he just fucking... Yeah. All right. Oh. Uh, let's go from the top. Headlines. Uh, we're a little mid this week, fellas. Uh, oh, God. Be honest, uh, be real, be real with y'all. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm totally kidding. I don't mean it. Oh, I don't mean it. How's the vibe? Oh, vibe still good? Yeah. Hell yeah, it sounds like <laughs> Jack's mom playing with action figures. Uh, I right. think you did it already. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, I just did it again, did it again, because the woos. Uh, <laughs> Alright, uh, cool, 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 cool. Uh, Necromancer's pretty cool. He gets tons of neck in India, which is sick. Oh, I respect it. Oh, great vibe. Great vibe. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, Ike uh, and his brother was here. Uh, that's not his real bro. Oh, uh, just be real with y'all. Oh, uh, that's the real vibe. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's the truth. Uh, that's the real vibe up in here. Oh, uh, I said vibe a goddamn bazillion times. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I was I was pretty spooked though when uh, when Cat did that story time. Uh, that was pretty scary. The AKs and the the Rico charges. Holy hell! Uh, it was <laughs> ridiculous. I didn't know Satan had a sausage either. <laughs> He's pretty sick. Uh, a red link. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, Justice Mud Ranch. Uh, that's that's the homie. Uh, you can't fuck with him. Hell no. He's cool. Um. The what the fuck was going on? I barely watched any of that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, I fucking apologize. Uh, Philip shorted me on weed the other day. Uh, <laughs> and you fuck, took care of him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm playing. You didn't. Uh, buy weed from Philip, please. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. No. Just kidding. He doesn't do Theoretically, that. Theoretically, buy weed from Philip. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't. That's sense. not the vibe. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm, li I'm lying. Oh, he doesn't do that. <laughs> it's not good. It's really not. Uh, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Your friends make fun of you for it. Uh, it's whatever. Hell yeah. I'm going to go not smoke Phillips uh, vibes. Uh, oh, wait. All right. Did uh, you want to ask? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, how's Kenny doing? Uh... <laughs> Good, Kenny. Um, bad and happy. Same, brethren. Uh, good vibes. Cool. Anything else? Vibes only. Kenny, anything else, bro? You got anything else to add, sir? Bro, awesome. I love you too, man. Dude, all right, dude. We didn't need to do that. Uh, 
Bam vibe. Oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> the vibes are still straight. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna explode. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna flip the fucking table over because Kenny said the Astros suck. Uh, no, I'm kidding. That was very sweet of you, Kenny. Uh, you, you nice, nice Hawaiian man. Uh, <laughs> I know you're not. I know you're not. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> this is a little, little nerdy of me. Uh, all right, a little nerd rage. Everybody have a good night. Uh, I'm Grant Wheeler with the Bob Check. Everybody have a good vibe. <laughs> yeah. Stay happy to vibe. So says Rip. Stay on. <laughs> Pimps up. Pimps up. Pimps up. Oh, down. Hose down, dog. <laughs> Hose is still in the streets. Uh, but and I love it. All right, everybody. Good night, Mom. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Grant Wheeler. Mom. Grant Wheeler, everybody. Thank you. The certified official vibe check, everybody. Need that. Needed that, dude. This, uh... This, this next, uh... This next segment is, uh... Well, it is gonna be an educational one, for sure. Uh, I don't really know what they have planned, but we've had these two on a couple of times, and they've always helped us kind of learn a couple of things about being a kid. Uh, give it up right now for an educational segment with Collie Peters and Polly Stevens, everyone. Yeah. Collie Peters, Polly Stevens. Uncle Jack. Hey. Uncle Jack, my grandma said you have a small penis. That's not that right. Well, hey. we're um, we we had a bad. We were in. We got stuck in traffic. Uh, we were trying to go to our science fair. Is it okay if we do it here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. but you guys like that? Yeah. We go. Uh, this co we're gonna do a musical intro real fast. Good Collie. Uh, <laughs> this is this is my friend Collie Peters. You know him from the sleepover. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Jack. It's nice to see you too, Collie. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have a very special judge for tonight. The 23rd annual Science Fair winner himself. Pete R. Crump, everyone. P Pete R. Crump. Pete R. Crump. Whoa, Pete R. Crump. What an honor. Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is an honor to be here as a judge at the 48th annual Retarded science fair. Oh, no. Make some noise. Start oh, stimming. No. Start stimming, everybody. Start stimming. <laughs> what beautiful stims you all have. Wow, what an honor. This is incredible. Um, you know, we retarded people, we get counted oh out God. a lot. I'm sorry, is there a problem? No, 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 no. Not at all. It's like the N-word, I can say it, okay? <laughs> we retarded people get counted out a lot. And that was just a great example. We are just as capable of making sick-ass science projects as any normal, non-retarded person. Make some noise for that. Yeah. Stim it up. Yeah. Stim it up. And these two shining examples Polly Stevens and Collie Peters have proven that. Uh, they prove it all, all the time. <laughs> We're about to see a series of. Uh, fan please, please. <laughs> We're about to see a series of projects that these kids have poured their blood, sweat, tears, snot, lots of snot, drool. Some of them puke and shit. They poured it all into this, <laughs> these projects. And you're going to respect them, and you're not going to laugh. Do we all agree? All right. Do we all agree you're not going to laugh? No laughing. No. <laughs> okay, this is very exciting stuff. Uh, we have ribbons to award, uh, and, uh, you know, as a three-time 
Uh, smartest TARD winner myself. <laughs> I, I'm really excited to see who gets the 48th annual ribbon. Um, let's, let's welcome our first, uh, our first uh, student, our first uh, competitor in the tonight's science fair. It's Vern McRonaldson. Give it up, everybody. Vern McRonaldson. Vern McRonaldson. Hey, Vern. What is it? Hello, everyone. I'm Vaughn McGonaldson. <laughs> now, now, hold on. Hold on, everyone. Hold on. Vern. Guys, don't laugh. Vern. He does not respond well to laughter. I don't want to scare you all, but Vern, take your knife out. When he gets nervous, he pulls this thing out. You want to show him what you do when you're nervous a little bit? Show him. Look at that. Now he gets nervous. That's just how he... Vern, that's just how he stims. It's beautiful. But he gets nervous by laughter, so please don't laugh. All right. Vern? You got this, buddy. Hi, Jack. Uh... I discovered um, vapobium. <laughs> I was on a three-day bug out in the Texas bush, and and that's when this walk hit me in the head, flew from out of the sky. Okay, it's about fifty nick per gram. <laughs> it's pure frozen vape juice. Okay. This is some expensive stuff. Now let me show you what some vapomium can do. That's really good. That's impressive. If you have vapium, then you never ever, you never need, you never need a new vape. <laughs> <laughs> this is the infinite vape. <laughs> so some observations I made when doing this kind of thing, you get a mad head wash, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Fat clouds. <laughs> it don't stop. Jack, don't vape. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> wow. Burn, everybody. All right, give it up. Give it up for Burn. <laughs> give it up for Burn McRonaldson, everybody. <laughs> yeah, Burn. <laughs> wow, that was all very exciting stuff. Uh, okay, let's see here. Now, uh, we got a lot more science in store. How do we feel about that? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's okay, Vern, it's okay. Uh, next up, he's excited to compete. Uh, I, this is interesting. He's an old competitor of mine. I think this is his... 19th or 20th year in a row competing, uh, something to that effect. Let's start clapping for Mr. Ralph, everybody. Mr. Ralph. Mr. Ralph. <laughs> Mr. Ralph. <laughs> Give it up for Mr. Ralph. Now, I just want to preface, no laughing, no laughing. Mr. Ralph is a 20-time sixth grader, and that's okay. We'd love that. What's up, fat retard? <laughs> I know that you have a condition, and so I'm not going to choose anger. Uh, Mr. Ralph, how are you today? Good. My name is Mr. Ralph. 
I'm 33 years old, uh, fifth grade, and I have won this competition 28 years in a row. Sucks to be you. Just go along with it. Just nod. I'd like to make my presentation for the evening. Behold. Earth. <laughs> yeah, it's flat. Earth is flat. Earth is flat. The lizards know. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein knows. Everybody knows. Even Obama knows. No videos, please. <laughs> this is important. Thank you. <laughs> Ralph, you were supposed to go for at least another two minutes. Are you... <laughs> anything else about the Earth you want to say? The Earth is scared. <laughs> just, just not. Just go. Flat. Very flat. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Mr. Ralph, you are supposed to go for another 90 seconds. Anything else you want to say? But... Okay, no, all right, well, that's Mr. Ralph, everybody. What a fantastic presentation. Um, I know he changed my mind. I don't know about you, anybody. Okay, oh. well, uh, we're halfway through. I know it's sad to hear. Um, we don't want this science fair to end, do we? No. Wow, you sound like a lot of the students in our school. Okay. <laughs> Just a fucking bunch of retards. <laughs> Sorry, did I say that? I could say it, I could say it. It's like the other word. Okay. Um, <laughs> coming up next, very exciting presentation. This is a group presentation. Uh, give it up for Kali, Peters, and Polly Stevens. Wow. <laughs> Two retards are better than one, people. You'll, you're about to see that. Wow. Hi. And we. Kali, Kali and I made made a volcano. What were we talking about, Kali? Propulsion. propulsion. Pro we're learning propulsion. Oh. We're learning propulsion. <laughs> we're learning about propulsion. <laughs> And we took, we spent a long time doing this. We spent a long time. What you see may surprise you. <laughs> this, this is something that was, we were inspired by my Uncle Jack because he came over and he showed us something that looked just like this. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> oh my fucking God. <laughs> it's, it's much, much smaller than that. <laughs> much, much smaller. This is what we saw blown up a thousand times. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. You ready to set it off, Kali? Everybody, hold on to your seatbelts. <laughs> oh, no. This, this is kind of like what we had to do, too. Oh no. Oh. It's gonna explode. Just wait. Nah, this seems pretty accurate. Just wait. <laughs> Golly, hit it with another one. <laughs> Everybody, this is a group project. Yeah, shake. Everybody, shake one end. Yeah, <laughs> blow on it. That's good. Kylie, it's not working. 
All right. <laughs> All right, give it up for Collie Peters and Polly Stevens, everybody. Wow. Wow. No. Wow. Not all science is good science. <laughs> but we must respect it equally. Okay. All right. Well, uh, it's time to give out some ribbons. What do you guys say? What do we... Uh, yeah! You know, when, when we got stuck in that traffic jam, um, because there was an anti-abortion rally that a Ford F-150 drove through, um, I thought, we're never going to finish this science fair, this retarded science fair. We're never going to get to do it. And... You know, that really made us sad. Everyone was sad. Look at him. <laughs> he was so, so dang sad. He looked like that. Um, and, you know, it, it's, uh, we appreciate you all welcoming, welcoming us into your hearts. Give it up for yourselves. Yeah. Everybody stim it up right now. Stim it up. Stand up. Stim it up. Stim up. Stand up and stim up. Yes. Thank you. Okay, well, um, you know, uh, it's an honor to give out some of these uh, ribbons. Uh, let's see here. Okay, the first one we're going to give out. Uh, this is for, uh, you know, the, this, this ribbon I'm about to give out. This might be a little controversial. Um, I'm going to give this ribbon out to uh, the coolest kid. Uh, it's not really science related, but I got to admit I zoned out during a lot of the projects. So, um, coolest kid, when we first got here... I said to Vern, I said, Vern, I need some Zin pouches. I need, I need Zin pouches, Vern. Um, and he ran and he got me some. So Vern, you're the coolest kid tonight. Give it up for hey, Vern. Hey, give it up. You should see this kid buy Zin pouches, it's great. Okay, uh, next up, let's see here. This award, oh, this is a really good award. This is for the second coolest kid award. Let's give it up, everybody, the second coolest yeah. kid. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna give this one, um, you know, this one might be a little controversial, um, but I, I first came to this kid and I asked him, hey, where can I get some Zin pouches? And he referred me to Vern, and I thought that was pretty cool. So give it up for Collie Peters, everybody. Collie yeah. Peters. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 Uh, and now, the award we've all been waiting for, the smartest Tard. Give it up, everybody, the smartest. <laughs> God damn it. Wow. We can say it. It is an absolute honor to give out this award. Um, we've seen a lot of, um, you know, tonight, and, um, but only one of them is the smartest here. And um, what I've learned in my many years of science fairs is sometimes the smartest heart isn't always someone who was even in the fair. Um, so tonight's winner is Jack Timmons, Smartest oh. Tard. Smartest Tard goes to Jack Timmons. I'm so sorry. Wow. I'm so sorry. Uh, but Jack Timmons, any, any words you want to say? Thank you. Okay, wow. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Give it up for yourselves. Keep, keep funding the schools and the kids. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I couldn't have done it without all of you guys. We leave now, all right? We leave now? Yeah, yeah. We okay, can. all right, we leave now. Guys, <laughs> give it up for give it up for all the kids and uh, and, uh Peter. Yeah, and Collie Peters and Polly Stevens for, Peter, for, for helping put this on again. Wow. This just says happy birthday on it. <laughs> oh guys. You can't find them. They can't find them. Can you not find them? Could you find them? Please find them. We don't want something to happen again. I don't know they're back here. Alright. We're gonna get on that, guys, but guys, uh, that's that's the news. It's good evening news, everybody. Thanks for coming out to good evening news. That's what's going on. <laughs> oh fuck. Hey. Boom. Guys, we did it. Another Tuesday night in the books. This has been Good Evening News. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, uh, thank you guys for being here. Yeah, we are on uh, YouTube as well. We live stream on there every Tuesday. This one was a little weird, so we're going to get it uploaded right after the show. But uh, And next week it'll probably be early because fucking somebody else is here who makes money. And... Uh, <laughs> 
and that's something we got to deal with down the line. But if we live stream on YouTube, go please subscribe and like and all that jazz. And then, uh, yeah, follow us on Instagram. We'll post a line up there tomorrow. You can follow and uh, support all the comics. Mikey? Get out there. Have a good night, guys. Get drunk. Get drunk as fuck. And tip your bar staff. It's the beginning of the weekend, guys. It's yeah. Tuesday. Tomorrow's yeah. Saturday. Yeah, and stop, and stop spitting zin pouches in the urinals. Uh, we gotta clean those up, guys. Stop spitting zin pouches in the urinals and putting them under tables. It's fucking nasty. But cool. It's still cool you zin. Oh, it's still on the stage. All right. <laughs> Feel free to sign that if you got a pen or a marker, you can sign that like a cast. And give it up for Necromancer Nick on the way. Necromancer Nick, Nick, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, damn. Guys, sign up for the open mic, he's gonna be in the back next to the no, sound. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you, thank you, I'll do it.